Rudy Zaizo writes, huge fan of the show and look forward to each episode. With the lack of box office success of Gem and the Holograms, do you think it might change the studio execs' minds and perhaps convince them into doing a more faithful adaptation of other 80s cartoon properties? Mass, perhaps? Would love to hear your thoughts. Keep up the good work and bring on the filthy. No, I don't think so. I mean, look, the reason Gem and the Holograms sucked was not because it wasn't true to the source material. We have seen things get made and created that are faithful to the source material, and they suck. It's it, And if the, Gem and the Holograms had been good because it was good, had they made a good movie, made it funny, everybody would have forgiven the fact that they completely departed from the source material. Nobody would have even mentioned it. I mean, I bring this all the, up all the time, but it's absolutely true. When you look at X-Men Days of Future Past, had that movie been bad, and it was awesome, but had it been bad, all of us would have been pointing out saying, it's because it was so unfaithful to the source material, because that movie is very, very different from the actual totally. comic run of Days of Future Past. But none of us, nobody, you don't hear anybody talking about that. Why? Because the movie was good, so nobody cared that it wasn't faithful. Um, Captain America, Winter Soldier, nobody cared that it wasn't faithful to the comics because they made it good, and that's really all that matters. The lesson I think that uh, the studios need to learn, and what I think they will learn is, let's not make bags of shit. How about we start there? How about that square one? Because all of us knew from day one, and if you're going to make it shit, then at least make it faithful to the comic to please somebody, right. or to the original <laughs> series to please right. somebody, because not only did it make an absolutely horrible movie, but they were completely unfaithful. It wasn't even Jim the Hall, call it something else. Right. But no, I don't think this will, honestly, and I think for people who are looking forward to like a mask movie, this should be encouraging. I don't think what happened to Jim and the Holograms is going to hurt or help any future project. Because I think all studios look at what they do with Jim and they saw a million problems, but the problem wasn't that it was based on an 80s show and the problem mm -hmm. wasn't that it was or was not faithful to the source material. Right. The problem was it was a piece of garbage movie and therein lies problem. I don't know, Mark, how do you see it? You make a great point. If you're going to make poo, make it the poo we all grew up smelling in the first <laughs> yes. place. Um, yeah, I don't think Jim and the Hologram is going to have any effect because that was such a weird aiming a movie kind of towards one fan base that I wasn't really sure was ever that huge or existed in the first place. I know a lot of people grew up loving Gem and the Holograms, but were there adults clamoring to see that being made and you wanted to go see that as an adult? Or was it trying to take some more unknown property from the 80s and make it into something else to appeal to a new generation, that generation which had never heard of Gem and the Holograms? So that was just a marketing perfect storm nightmare situation. Yeah. Whereas something like Mask is a lot of people probably don't remember Mask too, but... It's such a straightforward action concept where it's kind of like the A-Team meets G.I. Joe. They had bad guys in masks. They weren't called Cobra. They were called Viper. Get it? It's another <laughs> right. snake. Bank. I loved Mask when I was a kid. Mask was up there for me for a minute with like Ninja Turtles and G.I. Joe. It was a, it was a short-lived minute, but Mask was pretty sweet. So I'd like to see that. And I bring up He-Man. I mean, Masters of the Universe is something they've been trying to get off the ground forever. I don't think the failure of Gem of the Holograms is going to have any impact on these other properties. Like if they want to make a Thundercats movie, they want to make a Voltron movie, you have every right to want to do that. And Gem is not going to stand in your way. Yeah, <clears throat> I think Gem and the Holograms, like what you guys both said, it's like they started out with something that they didn't really know what they were doing. They weren't, they were making a low budget thing and not going with the source material. In fact, a Kickstarter making an like a live action animated movie of Gem and the Holograms is, I don't know if you, it's still, it's in this last day or two of funding. A friend of mine, Chloe Dykstra, is playing Gem and she looks just like Gem from the cartoon. So check that out. Uh, you might be able to pitch in some money. They're not even asking for a lot of money to make it, it's just a fan made like tribute to the actual uh, cartoon. I, I'd love to see a Micronauts. So that's for me, I'd love to see that they're, happen. They're, they're developing no, that. No, I know, I'm yeah. just like, I want, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I know it's in part of the Transformers. They got ROM coming on. We're, we're in a good place for a lot of fun stuff coming out. So I think Mask would work. I mean, a lot of these things would work as long as they start with the source material and have fun with it and are really creative with it. And and you're right, man, like just make sure it's good. Show it to some of your friends who have taste. <laughs> hey, is this good? And they're like, man, this is garbage. We're like, all right, back to the drawing board. You know what I mean? Don't just move forward with something that you know sucks because you have to hit a release date. Don't make a release date first. That would probably be my first thing. You know, you know what they gotta do? They, got, they absolutely gotta make GoBots. Said nobody ever. <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick trivia, who remembers the name of the main villain in GoBots? Uh, in GoBots. Dude, I totally got it. Flyzor. No. no. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. He, he 
transformed, so he go botted into a motorcycle. Toast and tricks. his name was Ghost Rider. Psy Kill. Oh! <laughs> yep. Psy Kill. Psy Kill. Wow. Owlix. <laughs> He's an owl and a toaster. <laughs> And he licks Tootsie Pops. Yeah, he's saying, <laughs> How many licks does he like? Death, murder, electrocution. Oh, and yeah. they got to make the Punisher. The Punisher is something that has. Yeah, I think Punisher. the Punisher would work. Uh, in Only if he fights Space Bear. You know what I just remember? Remember Battle Beasts? Anybody remember Battle Beasts? There were just these little tiny, they were like beasts, and they were like different like woodland creatures that had like armor and stuff on What? It. And you'd rub their chest, and something, it would either yes, be a fire logo, yes, or yes, a yes, wind yes. logo, or an earth logo. It was like no. Earth, Wind, and Fire, the band, except they were woodland creatures running around with like rocket launchers. It was like if Rocket Raccoon could join a club on Earth, he would be a Battle Beast. Make that movie. Battle Beast? What about those planets that fought each other? They're like, I'm a planet made of wood. I'm a planet made of metal. Metal planets. What? Remember that? No, but the metal no. planet. Probably. It was called something. It was like, I'm a planet. And you open it up and it's an aquarium. I don't remember. It's called Look It Up, Kids. It's on huh? Do you open the metal planet and it's just Iron Maiden? No, there's like a bunch. Out <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Now that's an idea. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.